Georgia, them dogs. Who, forty nine to three. I am just, I, <laughs> I thought that maybe Oregon could keep this thing close because I thought all of the new guys coming in, and I I should have known better because Alabama does this year after year. Like, they lose a ton of guys every year, and Georgia is built the exact same way, right? Think about all the games last year where Georgia had an opportunity to bring in guys and and let them play in mop-up duty. And, it, of course, they've got some experience. Of course, these guys have been in big-time spots. Maybe not big-time spots, but there wasn't a point in this game that was a big-time spot after, like, the first quarter. Like, if you just dominate, you don't have to worry with it, right? I I just, I wonder. I really wonder. Uh, let's look at the stats. Nine point, I mean, I don't know why we would have to. <laughs> I mean, God. Uh, 9.29 yards per play to only 5.44 in favor of Georgia. 571 total offensive yards to only 313. Georgia had no turnovers. Oregon had two. Uh, Georgia, 9 of 10 on third down. Like, they were never in an uncomfortable position, ever. I mean, it's just mind-blowing. Uh, Bo Nix did not look good. Oh, uh, Georgia, yeah, nine scoring opportunities. They scored 5.44 points per scoring opportunity. They scored touchdowns on their first five, no, first seven drives, and then just kind of sat on it. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Um Big Alex jumps in. Do you still have West Virginia going five and seven? I saw you impressed by us despite the loss. Uh, I'm going to have to recalibrate. I've got to go through my power ratings this evening. So <laughs> so we will see. It kind of depends on everybody else, too, not just West Virginia. But, uh, but yeah, Georgia, I mean, this is when – I, when I look at, at what Stetson Bennett was able to do in this game, like I, I've, talked, I've talked not glowingly about Stetson Bennett, right? And I still think that he's not great, but he's he is more than serviceable. Like, I think he's a great college quarterback, and he can make some outstanding plays. That play that you just watched is just mind-blowing, what he was able to do to get that touchdown pass. But, uh, but Georgia looks like... They are going to die. I don't think Oregon needs to worry too much because this is just a different level. Uh, in the Pac-12, they're going to be fine. But, man, Bo Nix, like, against the, <laughs> We've seen it over and over and over again. And I and luckily, I didn't bet this game, but, man, I thought it would be competitive, right? When I was asked about it, I said, hey, you know, Oregon, I think they can bang with them on the offensive line and defensive line. Like, I, I think they can do it. Uh, it's off to the earth jumps in. It's been at the real deal. Man, he should be. He's been there for 18 years, it feels like. I mean, you know, I, I think he's really good. I think he's really, really good, and I think he has developed insanely well under Todd Munkin. Uh, but as far as Oregon goes, Bo Nix, throw my hands up. I, I don't know what that was. I thought him going back with Kenny Dillingham might might help him develop a little bit. I thought a change of scenery might be good for him, and it was not. I mean, it was not at all. Uh, I mean, the top top dudes in this game here, um, Bo Nix, two interceptions, 21 out of 37. Which, by the way, how bad does Ty Thompson have to be if Bo Nix playing like that uh, doesn't get out of the game? Right? And I understand that they are trying to uh, build this offense, et cetera, but, whoo, I mean, that is just rough. Uh, Stetson Bennett, by the way, 25 out of 31, only six incompletions, had 368 yards of passing offense and two touchdowns. He was awesome. Kong for life jumps in 49 to three. It looked like NFL versus a high school team. Uh, Georgia made Oregon look like practice. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's And that's what I'm saying. The tiers of this sport are so completely different that I don't think Oregon has a whole lot to worry about, right? If, um, if Ohio State, went and played against an NFL team, and they get just thrashed, right? The same score, 49-3. to Are they not going to be as good as they are in college football uh, because they went and got thrashed by somebody that's obviously light years better than they are and more talented? I don't think it necessarily means anything for the rest of the season. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.